what portion of the vlog this is gonna be in. If this is the start of a new one, I look a mess, sorry, it's been a long week and weekend. Hey, my name is Akira Janae. Don't forget to subscribe and join the family before you leave. I am about to show you guys some groceries and stuff that I just picked up today, just enough to last me through the rest of this week. Today is Tuesday, April 18th. It is 1-11-111, okay? Me and my mom, I took my mom home yesterday. She stayed with me two nights. We went to Five Below. Can't really remember what all I bought, but I know I bought another corner shelf because this is what I put my cameras on so I can like see the whole room. I bought her a phone case and I also bought Prince a new um, leash thingy. So we just got back in. I took them on a walk. Um, my apartment complex is freaking huge. It's probably like a thousand apartments out here, honestly. And I just kind of so I can get familiar with the place. I took them around like my whole entire big old building. And like they got hammocks out there. They got um, foosball, ping pong or whatever. They got fire pits, grills, um, lounge chairs, like everything in like my little bitty building. So I don't know if it's like, I think every building got their own little like lounge fun area type thing. So that's really cool. As you can hear the boys are in there fighting right now. But yeah. I'm, I'm loving it out here. And then I found a quicker way to like get to a new Walmart. The Walmart that I'm close by, I'm close by a lot of Walmarts, but one Walmart is ghetto. If y'all know where I'm at, like a lot of local people kind of know where I'm at or whatever. One Walmart ghetto and one Walmart ain't. So I went to the one that ain't ghetto. And I really like it. Like it had a lot of stuff in there. So just quickly get into a little haul or whatever. I'm sorry, something's in my eye. The wind was going like crazy. Um. Oh yeah, another thing. Magnus Man came today, so I didn't have any like sink stoppers, so he gave me that. I also didn't have the little turntable, the glass turntable thingy in the microwave, so I got one of those, and then he just fixed my garbage disposal again. I think he said it was some type of like nail or something that was like got stuck in there. So he cleaned that out, and now it works. My little garbage disposal handle thing is on the bottom. As you can hear it works perfectly. Hopefully it works perfectly. So get into a little haul. I can't remember what else I got from five below, but just enough food to last me through like the rest of this week. I got some crackers because I like to eat crackers with my spaghetti. I got cran apple. I like cran apple, cran grape, regular cranberry, and I wanna say that's it. Never liked popcorn a day in my life, but I decided to get popcorn. One of the nurses at my job literally had cheesy popcorn. And I don't know why I never thought to put cheese on popcorn because I love cheese. I can literally eat cheese by itself. So cheesy popcorn, top tier. Um, Y'all saw that I had those Boom Chicka Pop from Dollar Tree, the white cheddar flavor, top tier. So I guess I'm like a cheesy popcorn girl. I got a little snack pack of pizza rolls. Like I said, I eat cheese by itself. And then I also bought three pizzas. And they're plan. And then y'all know I like the Stouffer's lasagna. So got that. To put that in the freezer. And then this one, I just got some strawberries. I'm gonna try to make a little fruit bowl if I can. And then I got the soft pork spaghetti. I got turnip greens. This Walmart that I went to, literally I've never seen the small can of turnip greens and I only eat turnip greens. I don't like collard greens and I don't like mustard greens. So literally, that's why I like this Walmart. This Walmart was like really nice. I tried the Popeyes homestyle mac and cheese, disgusting. I don't know if they gave me a bad batch or whatever, but it looks disgusting and it tastes disgusting. Cream of chicken, garlic powder, and another thing of hamburger meat. Ugh. The last bag of food that I got is some apples. Like I said, I'm gonna try to do a little fruit bowl. And then I got mac and cheese. Y'all know I love my mac. Um, this for cheese dip, I already have Rotel. And then I also got a four pack of these soft tortilla shells for tacos and then obviously you guys can see I got this big old basket. I got this basket because I have a laundry chute. If you haven't watched my vlog, my 
two or three vlogs before this one i have a laundry chute so i needed a laundry basket that can fit in that little bitty square cubby so hopefully this can fit because this was the last basket on someone's calling me this was okay so the last bag that i got is stuff that is not food so like i was saying this is what i'm going to put oreo reusable diapers in this is like a dollar something but you know people use it for like bras underwear and stuff like that delicate items that you can use in a washer and dryer this little bitty um what they call it wood decor riser i'm thinking i want to put this in my guest bathroom because i kind of already have something for mine i don't know we'll see or no actually i was thinking about putting it right here if this will fit for my dish soap and my hand wash oh yes it fits it's a little big but it fits I kind of want it square instead of circle. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it looks cute. Look. They have this in a little $5 and under section. The little tray, the little wood tray, yeah. It was $5. Yeah, basically he gonna copy my flow. It's okay. Yep, heard. Cause I got my headphone in. <laughs> All right, so that worked out. And then the other few items that I picked up from Walmart that's not food is, I got another two pack of the Febreze plugs. I got the Gain scent because this one smells amazing. And then also pertaining to the household items, I got this felted wood dryer ball set of two. This was also in the $5 and under section at Walmart. Super cute, these are only $3. I've been wanting these for a minute. So they're reusable, unscented, and made without dyes. And so yeah, it's a great alternative for dryer sheets. Help your load dry faster, re reduce static, and soften the fabric. So I'm very excited to use this. I've been wanting these for a while, but they're usually like $10. So I got a two pack for three. Super cute, and they come with a cute little baggie. So I'm gonna put this in my laundry area in the drying section. Also got some more Magic Erase cleaners, pack of two. And then pertaining to the dogs, I can't ever go nowhere without buying a little bad self something, but Oreo needed some more diapers. I am currently still potty training him. He's been doing okay since we moved here, not too bad. Like I just told y'all in the beginning of the vlog, I just took them around my whole entire building and found like the fire pits and like all of that. And I was just walking around to try to find the, um, the little pet way station. So he's been doing good, slightly. And then the last thing I got is for them. These are the puppy multivitamins. So it helps with hip and joint, heart health, skin, gut, liver health, performance, antioxidants, and their immunity. So I'm gonna go ahead and give them one right now. It comes in a pack of 60, so they each will get 30 a piece. And that's pretty much all what I got at Walmart and Five Below yesterday and Walmart today. Um, a little update of the apartment. I'm gonna try to get everything out of boxes today so I can just throw all of them away and get this junk out of here. So my goal is obviously to put all this up and just take everything out of all these boxes and just place it somewhere. I am gonna have more vlogs than me organizing, so stay tuned for like the organizing vlogs, but right now, I just need everything out of a box. Um, what else did I want to tell y'all real quick? I think that's it for now. Um, only thing I have left to do today is reply back to all my brand emails. I have to set up my cameras and my um, ring doorbell camera. And what else? I have to do my taxes today and just a lot of like paperwork stuff, sort through mail, all that type of stuff. And I'm probably going to start on that at about like 4.30, 5 o'clock. So up until then, I'm about to focus on putting these groceries away and getting everything out of these boxes. And I'll get with y'all later on today. Oh, 
just run back and forth. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Yes. guys like this setup with this little video <laughs> bar cart literally found this at target i believe under the little the little five dollar and under section so tell me if y'all like this stuff on here or should i <laughs> display my cups on here because i don't really have anywhere to put these this is from Hearts Hot Springs, Arkansas. This first one is Colorado. This one was Miami, but it literally, I put it in the dishwasher like an idiot. So I got another Miami one though. This one was New Orleans from the first time I went, but I also put this in the dishwasher being stupid and literally it washed off. So I got this one from New Orleans when me and Bay went again, so. Put that one down here. These two, I'm going to probably hide because that's not cute. And this has nothing on it. <laughs> so I may just throw those out since I got replacements, basically. Dave and Buster's from when I won. The Hollywood. I've been there before, but I didn't get a shot glass because I literally went to Hollywood when I was in high school. So what would I be doing getting a shot glass? But my boyfriend brung that back. And then he also got this one from San Antonio. From when he went, I never been there. And then this one was for my best friend, but it cracked, so I just kept it because I didn't want to give her a cracked glass. But I may end up throwing that away because I don't want a cracked glass. So, which setup do y'all like? Y'all like the shot glasses right here or the first setup with um, my little bar stuff? Comment down below. I'm gonna keep the shot glasses right here for now because I don't really have another place to put them. Um, when y'all comment down below, I'll see which one and then, oh, actually I might do an Instagram poll. back to my video to figure out how the heck to put this back together so luckily I did a close-up um, this is the luxury of recording yourself doing stuff but at 35 31 I showed me actually put it in so I need to actually put that on top of the screw like that little piece right here where is it that little piece right there covers the whole screw and I've been trying to stick it on the side so I'm glad I did this because baby I had no, I had no idea how to do this okay So the table is up. I did just sell my chairs today though. <laughs> I just sold them on um, Facebook Marketplace and I just met her at like 11 o'clock this morning. So I don't have any chairs right now. Um, I sold them because I'm trying to get out of that pink stage. Like it was hot pink a few apartments back and then I did it to like a light blush pink, which I still like, but in my apartment, I kind of just wanted to be like those neutral colors and especially brown. Y'all know my brand is brown, AJB Beauty Collection. So 
I'm really loving like the brown tones and stuff like that. So my chairs, they come in white or black that I've been looking at for like over a year. Um, if I don't find any more, I'm just gonna get white ones um, because I still have white in my apartment. So those are actually on Amazon and come in a pack of, I think two for almost $200 or like 150, something like that. So I'll probably buy them like next week or something when I get paid. But as of right now, we're just gonna have a glass table with no chairs right now. <laughs> progress i got most of that stuff out from over there just that little stuff left and then i got another little box right there and then that stuff right there so these two boxes is all my kitchen stuff so this this one looks like tupperware and like plastic stuff and then this one is pots and pans and then a few little appliances <clears throat> so this is where i'm keeping all the appliances so air fryer I got my rice maker, waffle maker, and then a mini crock pot. My big crock pot is still at my other apartment, so then the big crock pot will go back there. If it can fit my toaster, I don't have any counter space to put it anywhere, so the toaster will be going in here as well. And as well as this little bitty like cake mixer thingy will be going in here, and then the rest is just, it looks like pots and pans and cooking dishes and stuff so this one is where i've been putting all the pots and pans um and then i still have this one clear because my glasses these are glass dishes they will be going up and i don't know what that one is it says kitchen and it says glass so i think oh this is my glass um tupperware and up here i have glass plates which needs to come out the box they will be on the bottom and then this will probably be my glass cups and then the other top two will probably be all of my plastic stuff so yeah i need to figure that out <laughs> this one right now I'm, i haven't organized anything i'm just putting it up here this is like all of my what are those plastic like cups to go or whatever just any type of like cups on the go right there. I can't think of the name for that. And then this right here, I was trying to make this for my food, but I'm thinking I'm only gonna have spices up here. Um, I went to Walmart and forgot to get another one of these. So I'm gonna get another one of these. And then this whole thing would be like spices. <laughs> and then this, I was trying to keep canned goods up here, we'll see. But I know these two will probably not be like this. Um, because I am actually having to utilize the pantry over here that they have out. I didn't want to put my food over here, but I mean, hey, I'm going to have to. It's okay. And then I also put in these little lights so that I'm able to see when this actually is dark in here. Let me turn this down. It's light outside, but this is usually really dark at night. So I put some little lights up. Got one down there. So I am using this as my pantry. I'll organize this like I keep saying in another video, just trying to put, just trying to place everything basically right now. 
So I'm thinking I'm probably gonna have to move the rest of this food out and put over there in the pantry and then use this as storage for this stuff. But hopefully I can make it work with putting stuff under here and under there. And as you can see, it got a little shelf back behind there. So I think that'll work. And right now I don't have anything in this one. Like all of this stuff can really fit over here. Cause you know, I got all that space. And then this one over here is basically whatever this drawer is gonna be. Like housing the clips, the little oven mitts, straws, foodware, stuff like that. So my battery's about to die and I'm running out of space. So I will get back with y'all when I put all of this stuff up. back i just got back in the house it is 5 33 i managed to clean out all of the boxes and stuff i think i showed y'all that i don't know but my food has about 47 minutes left so i'm about to just set up my ring doorbell um it should be charged hopefully i had it on the charger for a minute um <clears throat> last week for like two days so hopefully it's charged i'm about to put it on the charger right now i should have been having it on charger today I'm about to charge it for maybe like five minutes <laughs> more. And then my battery's about to die, so I gotta swap that out and I'll be back. All right, says, first step, charge the battery. With the orange cable provided, plug the ring doorbell into a USB port. We recommend fully charging the battery before setting it up. It's charging, and it says to fully charge. Oh, okay, I see it now. So it's almost fully charged. It has to go around in a circle, so it's blinking a little bit in the corner. So as you can see right here, let's see. You may not be able to see it. Let me pull it up this way. It's, if you can see right here in the top left hand corner, it's blinking just a little bit. And that little bitty piece is how much more it needs to charge completely. So it's almost fully charged gonna leave that on there until i finish download this app and stuff so pull y'all back out mm, i look crusty get the ring app the ring app puts you in control to customize your new device and review your video recordings all from one simple dashboard download it now came with this we took a trip, now we on your block, and it's like a ghost town. Baby, where did these niggas be at when they said they going out this and all that? Tired of beefing you, pump. You can't even play. That's me on there. I'm gonna try to talk through it and see what we can hear. I like to access the microphone. Hello? Hello? Okay, so I can talk to the camera. 
take off the microphone so then I can't hear. But how do I hear? What here? Hello? Hello? How can I hear? Okay, so the speaker's at the bottom. But if I have it like that, I can't. I'm gonna go ahead and try to put this in here. Oh, I want to hear what it does if you ring it. Someone is at the front door. Alexa just says someone's at the front door. And then it shows. Cool. Okay. Perfect. So I'm going to take this off. I'm so pissed. I literally have to flip the camera. It has a speaker at the bottom and at the top, depending on which way your door goes. So since my door, I have to flip it this way. So it is, I've been sending out emails and stuff for brands and whatever. So it's nine, what time is it? 947 and I'm about to give the dogs a bath. I just got back in from taking them outside. I look a mess. <laughs> I've been literally at home all day besides going to Walmart and stuff. Hey, where y'all at? Oh, here they go. <laughs> So I'm about to get him a bath. I think I'm gonna do Oreo first, just to get him out the way, cause Prince is gonna be really easy um, to do his, and he really don't even have that much hair. So all of my energy needs to go towards Oreo. I completely cleaned all this out before I moved in, but I'm about to give him a bath, and then obviously I'm gonna clean it after I give them a bath, because I will eventually be taking bubble baths in here too. So I'm just about to run a little bit of water, not much, just enough to be able to coat his body and stuff. So Driving solo, I'm just swerving through my hands. When I sober, I just don't like who I am. Pull me up a four and I feel like myself again. Blow me up some dope and I feel like myself again. I'ma break every box they try to put me in. I got a lot of enemies. Hey y'all, today is um, Wednesday, April 19th, 3 1 p.m. I did wake up pretty late today. I think I got up at like 11 o'clock. Um, I took my sleeping pill last night and literally could not wake up. So today is another messy hair day. So excuse the way I look and probably all of these moving vlogs. Every girl, it's been a lot. 
um which i feel like this move have de has definitely been my most successful um <laughs> whereas like everything obviously was moved you know mostly that same day um i only had to go back to the house a few times a few times and a few trips yes but this one has felt less stressful um maybe because um i am in another two bedroom i don't know because i had a two bedroom before anyways i guess it's because i got like all the rest of like the stuff in here so it's kind of like out of sight out of mind and the stuff that's in my room like i put up my bed the same day um, my couch was here like everything is like laid out so really the only thing that i have to do is just unpack the rest of this stuff which is mostly like clothes and then my office stuff and then of course unpack like the rest of the bathroom and my clothes in my room but i just feel like it's less stressful because everything has a spot and like i have a fully furnished apartment basically and like when i was moving previously it was like you know i gotta find a couch i gotta find a dining room table i gotta find this find that so it's like i have everything it's just basically what i'm doing right now is upgrading like i think i told y'all yesterday i sold my um chairs for my dining room set and i want to get some more so yeah anyways right now like I said, it's 3.02 right now. So I just uploaded all of this footage for this new vlog. And baby girl, it is three hours and 30 minutes worth of footage. <laughs> so I am letting it import into iMovie. Like first, what I gotta do is take all the footage from my SD card, put it on my hard drive, take it from the hard drive, put it into iMovie. And then iMovie has to basically import it because if I try to edit, while the footage is still importing it's going to be real choppy and it's going to be like it's skipping so it took about an hour and like 10 minutes to get on my hard drive so it's probably going to take another hour or so to actually upload into iMovie so what i'm about to do right now <coughs> is i ate and everything so i'm about to put some dishes in the dishwasher but before i do that i am actually about to go put my purses up in my room like i got about two to three moving boxes in my bathroom and in my closet so i'm about to unpack those so like i can just get all these boxes out of here like i really want all these boxes gone and half of these boxes over here like all these boxes right here in this corner are all empty and i do have some boxes saved up for my um friend janae and her boxes will be these right here so i still gotta unpack this take that off this is all tissue and paper towels so i still got a few things to unpack but it's nothing too crazy and this stuff goes in the bathroom between my room and the guest bathroom and this is like all the dog stuff so my idea was to honestly just put some of the dog stuff in here like this is their bath stuff like what i used to give them a bath since i'm gonna be bathing them in here and i washed that out last night too so that's squeaky clean um obviously i don't want the dog stuff to be anywhere <laughs> up in this section because this is what people will grab you know if they come over here and need something or something like that like guests and stuff and plus i'm going to be using this bathroom for my wigs and all of that so my wig stuff will need to probably be in these and then i'll use like these top drawers and cubbies i think i'm going to put the dog stuff in these bottom two because they are a lot deeper so i'm going to put their stuff in these and then i will still have this open so yeah i don't know depending on how much stuff i actually got for them is where i'm gonna put all this i may just do two of these baskets and put all of their stuff in two of those and then just honestly put the basket under there and then i got everything that i need so i don't know this will either be some of their stuff in here and then like this bottom drawer or this the bottom two drawers is what i'm thinking so yeah this bathroom is literally huge just like mine so i don't know i think i like i said i put that up so i don't know i did want to add oops, i did want to add some type of like crazy color into my guest room like something off the wall something no one would ever think of like a yellow or like a cute orange or something because like i said in my room i'm gonna do that type of like velvet green i think that'd be really cute and really unexpected to get that pink out of my room like i can't take it anymore so i'm thinking some like crazy funky color for the guest room so i'm really thinking like a cute yellow or like a burnt orange but 
burnt orange i really really like burnt orange in the fall so that's why i'm like i think yellow i could do yellow like year round so i don't know i need i need some color but honestly i don't know i know a lot of y'all may be like blue in the at home store home goods and all of that they always got a lot of home decor that's like blue and silver i see that a ton but it's like i don't really be feeling blue but maybe that's because i don't feel it in the living room but if i was to put blue in my bathroom like blue white and silver i think that'd be cute too because the stores they actually have a lot of like blue and silver stuff for like you know your house so i think I may just go ahead and do blue. I would like to do like a yellow, but I think I may stick with blue because I may not be able to find as much yellow stuff as I think. So I may go ahead and do like blue, white, and silver. And that'd be really cute. Like not like beach vibes because some stores have like blue, white, and silver to be like beachy. And I don't really want beach vibes. Like I just want cute, sophisticated, chic, blue, white, and silver <laughs> if I can get that. So yeah, I'm about to go to my room boys in here playing took all the dang toys out actually i'm about to set up my our robot to get jasmine up and going i'm gonna set her up so she can learn the house um i pretty much have everything off the floor so i'm gonna go ahead and set her up i think i'm gonna keep her in this little bitty hallway section right here um because everywhere else she'll kind of honestly be in the way and I don't really come back here much. So I'm going to set her up right here. She was leaking. I guess she got messed up doing transport. I hope she still works pretty good. I'm about to sweep real fast too since I got everything up off the floor. So she can go ahead and start my... They're probably gonna have to reconnect her and then she's gonna have to map out my new apartment so let's say connect and she probably won't be able to connect tape so I had to use scotch tape but I didn't really like stick it too much so it doesn't mess up the paint and I put holes where it's supposed to go Day. it's 4 41 cleared out a little bit more all of these boxes are empty that one's empty 
um, took off the boxes with my clothes in my room. These are just towels. I'll do that later. Um, update on this. We are now at 65% of importing. It's 441. I think I said I started it at like 309 or something. So dang, they're about to be two hours of importing. Um, I saw me put up that little picture. That side is clear. I still have so much space. As you can see, this is like my dining area. Some people make this their office, but since I got a dining room table, that's going to be like my dining room area. Um, so yeah, one girl out here, she had basically like my little desk. She had her desk set up here. Hers was much bigger than mine though. She had hers set right here. It was facing towards the door. Cute little chair. Had her printer back here with a little plug in and you know, this is basically her office, but I don't know, we'll see. Because I think I still want a dining room table. Even though I have a bar area right here, I think I still want that, we'll see. But right now, I have my desk over here. And I had planned for AJB Beauty Collection to go on this wall. But as you can see, the window's right here, right? So this is all the natural light that I'm getting in. So I'm thinking have this smaller wall be my YouTube like recording wall, like decorated real cute. And like if I gotta do any sit down videos, any clothing hauls, anything like that, it'll be done on this smaller wall by the door. Since I am getting natural light directly to me, instead of it being this way, as you can see how dark it just went because I would be needing to use ring lights and stuff. So I'm thinking this way for content you know with the natural light coming in and like ring lights and stuff if needed and then this side will be for my business so like this whole section will be just ajb beauty collection or whatever so that's what i'm thinking desk over here in its own corner and then basically this whole wall will still be free i don't really have any plans for this wall just yet uh, i may actually end up putting some type of little tv up here or something like this tv that's in my living room it's like a 40 something inch i could put that little small one in here and get a bigger one so yeah my battery's about to die so i'm going to show you guys real quick or try to show you i put all my clothes in my room so this suitcase has clothes this has clothes both of these boxes have clothes that is closed that's closed so i'm about to put all of these clothes back in my drawers because all of these are empty the only one that has stuff is this first one and then I'm gonna be using the storage around my whole entire bed for like long sleeves, sweatpants and stuff like that since I can actually get to each side.
t-shirts so I'm about to do her little method of what sparks joy and what doesn't but I just have too many t-shirts I don't even wear half of all of these some of these are what my cousin gave me that like I sleep in at night so really these are just sleeping t-shirts and really I only really need like seven like if need be one for every day of the week and that's it I do have pajamas so I'm trying to cut down to at least ten of these shirts really just seven because how many sleep shirts do I really need there's like 20 plus in here <laughs> so yeah I like that one this is what I use to bleach hair in this is new don't need that anymore still wear that Y'all remember Tiger's clothing clothing brand? I used to be in love with him. His last King's clothing brand. <laughs> okay, so it is 10 10 at night. And let me turn on this light. Doing her method, y'all, it literally works. Like, I have so much more storage in my dresser with folding like this. Like, I used to obviously just stack it up and literally I couldn't. I would probably be able to fit this much and this much stuff. All this stuff in the middle, no. There's no way. So, literally, chef's kiss. Like, clothes perfectly. And then, obviously, I did it with my boyfriend's clothes up here. So, he has a variety of, like, shirts, t-shirts, them muscle shirts, underwear, shorts, socks. Everything is fit in one drawer. Then, I also... Did it a little bit with my work stuff. I already have organizers for this kind of stuff. I've already honestly kind of did it before. Like this is how I used to um fold my workout shorts. So I'm stupid. I should have been doing this with my t-shirts and stuff. And then obviously I have cubbies for that. And then I did it with my shirts. Like y'all, it fits so much. And I still have a little bit of space right here to put some more but I threw out a few shirts I've already took them to the um dumpster so I'll probably be going through these again so this is basically my shirts that I will wear like getting out the shower to go to bed in and then these two rows are shirts that I will like actually wear outside next I look crazy still let's let's disregard that I have these shower hooks don't know if I told y'all about this before, but just from like the dollar store shower hooks. And I've been doing this with my jeans. So what I'll do is, for instance, take a pair of jeans and then whatever kind of shower hook you get, you would just unloop it. Take it off the thing and then loop it. How did I do this? I think I did like this. I'll have to go look at my other pants. I think I did like this, and then you'll just hang it on to the shelf or wherever. I'll probably have to do it like this because my things are really wide now. And yeah, put it through like this, and this will take up less space in your drawers and stuff. And it's kind of like you're actually hanging them up. So, little hack for you guys. I still have two boxes of clothes left like y'all i got so many clothes never worn on these these are all from them shein hauls so i gotta start going places maybe to wear these clothes um and then i'm going to be doing a lot of like reels and tiktoks so i still have to put this whole basket of like clothes and stuff up i kind of was trying to rearrange this stuff in my closet so i got my purses up shoe boxes I'll be putting those on the top row, but I gotta figure that out. This is the side that I've been placing stuff to try to figure out how I want things. So right now I'm thinking I'm gonna have my long dresses over here. And then I obviously need to put this stuff over there. Right now I'm thinking winter clothes over here because just keep them off in the corner because I'm not honestly grabbing any of that type of stuff. Over here would be winter stuff kind of too, but like, this type of material stuff like vest and just things like this that i'm not wearing on an everyday but that's still kind of like dressy like i could pull this out 
but like this stuff i don't need none of this so this is just hoodies sweatshirts pullovers flannels and then this would be best um i also need to put this right here little suit tops and stuff so that kind of stuff will go over here need to move these shoes and then i'm thinking the stuff that i want to put right here in this section is like short sleeve shirts and little bitty like two pieces and stuff like that so it doesn't really take up all of this space so i'm going to be getting all of my basically crop tops t-shirts simple stuff like that will go over here and then my dresses i'm thinking i'm going to put like i said long dresses right here and then the shorter dresses they're kind of you know doing the do right here like down low so i don't know i don't know if i want to put them right here or if i want to put dresses right here and then leave this open to where i can like kind of roll stuff right here if need be like a suitcase or something um so i don't know because i also have my jeans that i'm going to be hanging up like i said i got the little hook on them or whatever so i don't know where i want to hang my jeans like if i put the jeans down here then the jeans are going to be on the floor but if i put the jeans up they're gonna hang so i don't know or maybe i need to put jeans like right here when i move the dresses to the other side the jeans can go right here and then kind of just hang down so yeah i don't i don't know y'all child this is stressing me out i got too many clothes <laughs> oh and i'm trying to get all of my clothes and everything unpacked because i don't want anything in boxes but i also need to be able to find like my scrubs stuff to you know put on for a regular day and stuff so i'm just about to take all of this out the box put it on the rack and then i'll just try to deal with it maybe tomorrow didn't really get any edited done today the footage i got is like three hours and 30 minutes i probably edited about like 10 minutes of that so i have a lot of editing to do in the morning like i said it's already 10 19 so i'm about to just take all these clothes out this box put it up in this closet and then i'm about to go to bed so i can wake up early tomorrow i do have to work tomorrow so i can't be editing until like four or five o'clock so i need to really be done editing by depending on how early i wake up i would like to be done editing by noon eat and then i would like take a nap before i go into work so i could be up all night so yeah i'm just about to get the rest of these clothes out real quick so i got my first package and my new place has my name on it and everything i went to the um amazon hub thingy i'll probably put in a little video to show you guys but this is whoop, girl about to drop y'all is my ring indoor camera plug in <clears throat> super excited i love ring like i love my doorbell so i did have two other cameras that you guys know but those two cameras isn't compatible with 5g wi-fi <clears throat> so i literally cannot use those cameras no more they literally work perfectly so whatever i just bought one of these for right now i think i want to put this on my door because somebody else got um, a security tag on their door so i'm literally just going to put this on my door too because baby you rather be safe than sorry y'all know not to come up in here because you're about to get recorded okay so yeah i'm gonna put this on my door because somebody else they don't have a ring they have like some other like security system and like their stickers on the door so i'm gonna put this on my door this should be fairly easy to put together i am just gonna buy oh this is tiny they look huge when people be recording them this is cute so i'm gonna put this in the room pointing at the dogs for right now and then i'm just gonna get another one later on for in the living room because since I already have the ring doorbell, you know, obviously I'm going to see anybody who would like come in here from that. So just so I can have eyes on the dogs, I'm going to put this up 
in their room. This is so cute and so tiny. I'm just gonna go ahead and get like all ring products because it'll just be easier to have everything in one like app or whatever. So I'm about to try and set this up real quick and see because I do go to work today and so I would like to be able to monitor them while I'm at work. So I have so many freaking apps on my phone. I need to go through these and organize these again because these are like my folders. I don't like to have stuff all out like this. So I'm going to go to ring and then just add a device, I guess. Um, set up a device. I have the, what do I have? Where's indoor security cams? Right? Scan the QR code. Okay. Okay. Indoor cam detected. Where would you like to set up your cam? I'm gonna have to block that out because it says my address. <laughs> um, guest room. Where is this indoor cam pointed? The device works best when the motion area is inside the house. Into the house. Plug in your cam and wait 30 seconds for it to turn Ooh, on. <laughs> okay, that went quick. Guest room connected. Indoor cam is now set up and ready to protect you. <laughs> Continue. Let's install your indoor cam on the shelf wall or on the ceiling i can't even reach up there girl so i'm just about to put it on the shelf we're gonna do it on shelf all right skip that for now your ring products work even better as a team at linked devices heads up this may drain the battery life faster than they need. okay well we don't want to do that Let's stop, skip for now. I don't want to drain the battery. Skip for now, skip for now, I'm done. Okay, that's the front door. This is me. All right, y'all, I just realized that I didn't do an outro. So don't forget to like this video, comment, and subscribe. So sorry, but I will see you guys in moving vlog. I think it'll be five, if I'm not mistaken. I think five. So yeah, see y'all in my next one. Bye guys. Bye.